Hi guys, Shox here. At today's video, I am going to try to make some beautiful Easter eggs out of some hard-boiled eggs and some um, cake decorating icing color. I'll show you what I mean. So I noticed that Wilton the other day I had posted a video, I'll throw a link below, on using their icing color to do Easter eggs with. So I figured, hey, I've never done that, let's give it a try. So I've pre-made some hard-boiled eggs, and they've been in the fridge, and I've got my um, icing colors here. I've got yellow and red and green, teal, violet, and, and royal blue, and pink. And I've got some containers here just to get the water and the color in, and a couple of other fun things that I'm going to try along the way. Now, I haven't colored Easter eggs in forever, but you know what? Let's make a video of it. Here we go. So a couple of things that we are going to decorate these eggs with today is I hear you can color on them with a crayon. So we're going to draw a cute little design on. And then we're going to try to make it look all crazy with some string. And we're going to draw some tape. So what I'm going to do is I think just kind of draw a little flower design on this egg here. Make it all like pretty and spring-like. Oh, drawing on eggs with crayons. Huh. Saw it on the internet. It must be true. And then it'll work like those drawings. When you're a kid and you scribble all the crayon on and then cover it with black and then scratch the black off and then you've got this like really cool picture. You dip it in the egg, uh, in the food color and uh, Your little crayon drawing will show up after. Alright. Now I've seen also that you can tie string around the egg as you dip them. And it's supposed to make it look all funky and stuff. So the first time I tried this it didn't go so well. So I've got a little tiny tiny piece of tape there. <laughs> we'll see if this goes any better. Uh, is there such a thing as like a professional egg string tire because I am not that. Oops. Just trying to wind it like a spool of thread. Uh oh. I don't even know if this is going to work. Checking it out and having fun and that's all that matters. Uh oh. I made a big tangly knot. Uh-oh. Where are we here? There we are. Who knows if this will work, but we'll try it out anyway. No. It just showed a pretty picture. It didn't say how to do it. Alright, a little more tape. Okay, so I got a little bit more tape on there. Hopefully that'll do. I'll just set that aside until I'm ready to use it. Okay, so I've awkwardly cut a couple pieces of tape here. Yeah. I really don't think this one's going to work, but you never know. Let's do a couple of big zigzaggy marks. <gasps> yeah. All right. Another piece of tape out. This is awful. <laughs> Scissors to cut it. Oh man. Hmm. I never thought of is how this is going to be to peel it off to get the other color in after. Uh oh. There we go. On with tape on it. So I'm going to get this uh, set up here. Um, also, I saw that if you dip it in a vinegar water solution, it'll help to set the colors after. So what I have here are just five containers and I've boiled some water and let it cool off a bit to help dissolve the colors that we're going to use. Okay, so I've got a couple of different paste colors here. I've got some red.
and some violet. A nice dark purple. Got some royal blue. Oh, the royal blue and the violet look very similar. Some yellow. That's nice and bright. We have some pink. There we go. I'm going to stir these in and dissolve this paste and then we're going to dunk some eggs. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to try to do one, I think, like half one color and half another just to start off with. There's just a plain egg. Ah, let's just do this. It's what they did in their video. This color is not looking like overly fantastic, but... Let's see how it goes. Take this one in, let it get soaking, get some color in there. Let's get them soaking in there. Oopsies. And uh, see how bright they get. And my hands are getting blue. Let's give it to this. The pink is really looking orange, so I don't know what's up with that. Let's let that sit in there for a minute. Do a yellow butterfly. Whoa, that one ended up coming up bright pink. Look at that, looks so cool. Half pink and half yellow. That looks pretty neat. Even though it looks orange, it's coming up pink. Stick the tape one in the pink. There we go. And dip that in the vinegar. I'm going to call that one done. It looks pretty. Set it aside to dry. This red still isn't getting very red. Let's have a look at this string. This one's kind of coming up like pink versus purple. Well, that's blue. It looks pretty. How pretty that looks. Stick it in the red and see if we can dip the end. There we go. It's resting it on the spoon. That's a great idea. This yellow is looking fabulous. It's like musical eggs here. Okay, so these have been sitting a little while. That one looks pretty cool. Little polka dots there where I've touched it. It's pretty. Let's dip it. Dip. This is the string one that we did. And in theory, underneath where the string was should be white egg. Let's have a look. A little bit. I think if I would have tied it tighter, how do you tie a string around an egg tighter? There's some cool little funky going on there. See that? I'm going to stick it in the yellow and see if I can make some of those white spots go yellow. What else do we have going on here? We still have this red one in here. It's not looking too good. A little soft red. And we've got a tape egg. So this is that one I stuck tape on. I left a little loopy so I can get it off again I think. Yay! That kind of worked really well. It was really awkward to get the tape on there. Just like cutting it in strips and stuff. It's kind of awkward trying to get the tape off without cracking the egg. 
What's your favorite way to color Easter eggs, you guys? Leave comments down below. Cause like I said, I haven't done this for years. Oh man, can you tell? Okay, hey, that one looks pretty cool. And the tape totally left just white where I was had it on there. I'm going to dip this part in pink. That one did dye the little parts yellow. There we go. I think I'm going to leave that one there. It looks pretty cool. Get the rest of these out and show you what they look like when they're all dry. Alright guys, so there we have it. Our beautiful assortment of funky colored eggs. This was kind of interesting to try and thanks for coming along on the adventure with me. Have fun trying this at home, you guys. And if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below, please. I love answering you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.